all right guys easy amateur radio here and today on the bench i have an awesome ellicraft kx3 uh, before we get started just want to throw it out there i have a cricket in the shop and i can't find it and it's really aggravating me so if you hear it in the background uh give it give it your best wishes because it won't be here long i guess is the best thing to say but anyway i bought this ellicraft kx3 off of ebay untested and typically untested means broke uh, but I looked at the page and it looked like this was more of a pawn shop deal. So uh, I figured maybe this was a silent key or a ham who hit bad times. Something like that. I know this radio powers on because that I tested that. That's all I know. So it did not come with a microphone. It did not come with cables. It did not come with anything but the radio and the Elecraft key that was on the bottom. So uh, you're going to walk through this with me and we're going to see what's up my icom 705 cable is the same cable as an Elecraft cable or at least it works and that's what we're going to use uh, so we're going to try this out and see it came with the wind camp uh side cars basically and the heat sink uh, my other one didn't have that it adds a lot more weight to it but uh it's not bad so to turn these radios on you have to push two buttons so you don't accidentally turn it on in the field and now it's on so now we're gonna uh i can't really tilt it up because you can't really see a whole lot so i'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of keep it like this and we're gonna kind of go through everything make sure everything works but first we're gonna get gonna get set up on the antenna okay so now we're set up on the comet antenna i do not know if this model came with a built-in tuner or not let's see if we can't prop it up just a touch and adjust it where that flares and that glares down on there we go now i can comfortably see it and you can see it so uh, i don't know if this came with a tuner so we're gonna try with the tuner module there we go it tunes i'll take that so let's see if we can hear anybody it is about seven o'clock in the morning here uh on a weekday so let's see if we can hear anybody back there oh the glare is back there we go let's see if we can hear anybody i would like to adjust this step if i can but i don't uh without diving into the menu i don't really see it on the sub menu or the face menu so uh we'll just have to take it slow I'm not really hearing anything going on we might jump over to 40 meters and see uh, there's all your modes uh, band 40 meters there we go now we hear somebody we want to tune it this radio definitely takes some getting used to Oh, the speaker is on the bottom, so I do kind of want to prop that up. I'm sorry. It's not the best angle for you guys uh, watching, but we're going through this together. I'm assuming whoever owned this was primarily a CW out. Because... So now we have OEMs talking about OEM things. So we know it has a tuner, and we know this. Let's, without opening it up, let's go to the menu and see what kind of battery we have. If we have a battery up, oh, battery, it says not installed. So uh, we'll have to check that out and see. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Elecraft KX3, I did own one. I own a really nice one. Uh, it was in really good shape, and it's one of the few radios I regret selling. I regret selling my QMX, uh, my original one. I have the QMX Plus with sideband, 
But being that I have this in the 705, I think I'm going to sell sell it to a friend of mine who wants it. I'm trying to get that glare off of there for you guys. But uh, it's being goofy. All right. So now uh, we know there's not a battery installed. We know it works. I have a janky microphone. It's actually a decent microphone for uh, what it's worth. So let's go over to 10 meters and swap to the meter and the dummy load behind it. And let's see if we can uh, get something working. All right, it doesn't really matter where we're at in the band because we are going into a dummy load. This is a tip ring ring sleeve uh, microphone. It's actually for the QMX. Uh, and I have no idea if this cable is going to work. So we're going to try it and just see if we can even get it to key up. I heard something happen. Uh, I do not have an Elecraft microphone, so I guess I'm going to have to get one or have something built up and see uh, see kind of what's going on. Hello, hello, hello. All right, we're not keying anything. So, From what I understand, the QMX microphones are supposed to work with these. They're supposed to be wired together, but I'm not really seeing much happen with this. Uh, it's in upper sideband. Maybe there's a mic setting in the menu. We'll go mic bias, macro, fine. So let me get out of this and uh, look around for you guys. All right, so we're back on 40 meters. Uh, the, the 10 meter thing did not work, which was a bummer. And we're going to end this video with OMs talking about OM things. Guys, thanks for hanging out if you've made it this far. Oh, apparently they're gone now. Maybe the band changed. Alright. Not the end of the world. If you've made it this far in the video, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope you liked uh, discovering what this Elecraft do does, because I spent a fair bit of money on an untested unit. 73, everybody.